was it was gut wrenching uh, because it was a play that I'd seen him go down kind of in my peripheral, but I didn't know what happened. So when I turned around and I saw him on his back, uh, kind of kind of squirming in agony, it was uh, it was it was pretty tough. And I mean, I, prayers are up for him, and uh, I talked to him after the game, and uh, man, I just hope him for the best. Do you feel like it, it kind of had you guys shell shocked a little bit as just, a team? Just a little bit, just because that session, that's your QB one, that's your star player, that's that's Skylar Thompson, that's that's everybody's boy, that's that's our leader. To see him go down, and I mean, it's always going to be a shell shock because man, that's that's a great guy, a uh, great player for us, and it's just always tough. Do you said how do you think you held up running the ball twenty six times today? That's the highest you've had. Yes, yeah, so I feel pretty good. Uh, a little sore, but that's just football. Uh, feel good and probably get some recovery tomorrow and just get ready for Nevada. Did you immediately know when Skyler went down, you're like, well, I'm going to be taking on an even bigger load than I thought tonight? No, uh, because Will Howard's a fantastic quarterback as well. Whenever we put him in the game, I knew we weren't going to change anything. We're going to keep being K-State football because that's that's what Will Howard does. He's, he's a great football player, and he's going to be somebody that whenever his name is called, he's going to come in and do his thing. How important was it to punch that one in on the last drive, maybe to get some confidence with the group that you have right now with Will in the offense and your offensive line doing a nice job tonight? Uh, I feel like it was pretty big, uh, not only for the fact of just the offense, but whenever we punched it in, it was kind of like an overwhelming like thought that we knew the defense was going to get a stop. The way they've been playing all the second quarter, I mean, second half and the entire game, I mean, those, those guys have been putting on the line these past two games, and they're a great unit. So whenever we punched it in, it was kind of like a – we know our defense got us and cut us an entire game. They're not going to, quote, unquote, let us down. They're going to show us exactly what they do, and that's going to be a mob mentality defense. You guys came out in the second half, and I think the first drive maybe ran the ball or passed the ball once. And was that kind of a maybe a way to let Will kind of settle into it and you guys were able to move it on the ground? But I feel like it was more of the fact that our offensive line was playing super, super well, and uh, we went into the locker room and – we said, man, the way our offensive line is playing, we're winning the line of scrimmage. Why not just just give the ball to the three great running backs that we have in the backfield as well? Because those five up front, I mean, man, they, they make stuff go. Uh, they're a fantastic unit. And just to see them improve from January to tonight is fantastic. And they're going to get even better. And, I mean, I love running behind those boys. Deuce, I think all three of your touchdowns tonight were in the red zone, which is a little unusual for you. How do you approach that when you're down there in the goal line running as opposed to in the open field? Well, once you get inside the five, you got to get the ball in the end zone. That's uh, – as a running back, that's where that's where you got to get the ball in the end zone because if they're calling your name inside the five. They're putting pretty much the entire program in your hands. Say, hey, man, go get us six points. And uh, every time we're in there, I feel like I got to do it. Uh, and man, it's real easy when you got those five up front. I always say that uh, they, they they block their butts off today and they play amazing. You talk about uh, defense and playing mob mentality. Tell me about uh, Felix and what he brings to you guys. He's my roommate, uh, so uh, he's. <laughs> He's a, he's a great player. He's going to be somebody that's great for us for a very long time. The, the way that he prepares is is ridiculous. Uh, out at practice, he doesn't take a rip off. So these plays that you're, we're seeing on Saturday, we're like, man, I mean, we saw that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever we were practicing. And we saw it back in spring ball as well. He's changed his body uh, the way that he's gotten bigger. He's worked on his game, and it's it's crazy to see. I mean, he's a he's a fantastic player. He's gonna be fantastic for us for for a very long time. Dude, when, when Cooper was in here, he, he mentioned that he knew that in the third quarter you guys were gonna pound the ball. And he has off the line. He was licking his chops as a running back. When you know that, how much were you looking forward to getting out there, knowing you were gonna get the ball probably pretty good bit? I was looking forward to it, just in the fact that uh, we went into the locker room and they said we're gonna we're gonna put the ball into the, our running backs' hands, and that was something that's okay. They're putting like their faith in us to go out here and put this game away in a sense and get up and try and uh, run out the clock. So whenever we went out there and they were like, hey, we're going we're gonna to keep handing you the football, I mean, I was I was all go for it. Uh, it was something that, man, I, I always take pride in. Do how important will it be just to cut down on the turnovers moving forward as an offense? Uh, turnovers are can't happen. Uh, fumbling the football, I pride myself on taking care of the football, and that's something tonight that I, I didn't do. Uh, something I have to work on. Uh, Going forward, it's something that's an expectation is going to be to have zero fumbles every single game. Did you get a sense of Skyler's emotions in those games? Yeah, uh, just really. I mean, he was excited for us for getting the win, uh, and then of course uh, he's trying to keep his spirits up and everything. But uh, I don't know exactly what is going on with him, uh, and I didn't really talk to him about that. But I mean, he was he was overwhelmingly excited for us in the win. Uh, that's all that. Uh, he really, really talked about. Do I'm sure you know this, but that that fumble was the first turnover you've had since you've been here at K State. Yes, sir. Um, is that is that something where 
you have to do on your own? Are you gonna do like extra stuff because of it? Like you? Uh, yes, sir. Fumbling is unacceptable, especially playing running back. Whenever they give you the ball, they're putting the program in your hands. And I feel like my fumble really kind of changed the momentum whenever we went back out there and we kind of caused some more turnovers because of it. So. Uh, that's that's on me 100%. That's something I'm going to work on because turning the football over is just unacceptable. And it's something that's always going to uh, taint a football game in, in my eyes. Whenever I fumble the football, I could have 100 touchdowns, but that fumble is always going to stay in the back of my mind. Well, what? I just meant, are you going to do like, oh, no, I was oh. going to ask, are you going to do like 25 more push ups and I just didn't know you do extra on yourself. Uh, one thing that I will do is I get back to my cross gripping every single uh, practice, no matter where I'm at, cross gripping through the hole, whether I'm out in space and things like that, because it's always going to be a pile chaser that gets the ball. It's never going to be something that's right in front of you. Mm-hmm. When was the last time you fumbled off our back level? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't fumble last year. I didn't fumble my senior year. I believe it may have been my early junior year or sophomore year. I know I fumbled my sophomore year in high school, but I mean after that, I mean it's a it's a feeling that I I never want to feel again. So yeah, it's something to work on. Offense didn't play well. There was turnovers, but you still get the win, and defense right. played really well. And you guys know you can be better, I'm sure. So how much confidence does that give you going forward? A whole bunch of confidence. Uh, just to see that to know that our defense is legit. Uh, they're they're gonna buckle down. They're gonna put ten toes down. They're gonna play for us, and uh, this is something that we can work on Monday through Thursday. Whenever we're getting ready, and then going into Friday before next Saturday against a really good Nevada team. So we're gonna have to get to work, and uh, it's just really exciting to see that man. We're, we're we're leaving a lot out there, and whenever we tune it up and we start making those plays as well, it's gonna be pretty exciting to see. One more, one more question, guys. Uh, up. Okay. okay. I guess it's going to be me then. Uh, just after playing in front of limited capacity so much last year, how nice was it to be almost full house? And what was that experience like? Man, for it was crazy. Uh, running out of that tunnel, it was it was crazy because I came up here for my official visit uh, against the Baylor against Baylor whenever I was going into my senior year. Right, so I was in my senior year, one of those. But, uh, I mean, just to see that crowd was something I always wanted to play in, I always wanted to run out in. So to see it tonight – Man, I mean, it was electric. It was something that uh, I'll look forward to playing it again next week uh, because these fans are fantastic. And, man, they, they proved it tonight.